Let's head to the Rainbow Nation, where the health department says it has embarked on a vaccination campaign to contain a diphtheria outbreak in the Western Cape. This comes after a 19-year-old post-more prison inmate has succumbed to the bacterial infection last week. Diphtheria is a highly contagious and potentially life-threatening bacterial infection of the respiratory tract. According to health officials, a 17-year-old prisoner died on Sunday after experiencing symptoms of the infection a week earlier. Eight more inmates are said to have tested positive, with only two experiencing mild symptoms. And of course, joining me right now is Dr. Leslie Bamford, Child Health Specialist, National Health Department. Thank you so much for your time, Doctor. Uh, good afternoon and good afternoon to the viewers. All right, great. Now, how concerned is the health department about uh, this particular outbreak and how s widespread is this uh, outbreak itself? So, of course, we are always uh, concerned when there, when there are outbreaks. Uh, currently, this outbreak uh, compares, uh, appears to be uh, relatively under control, uh, but we need to uh, monitor uh, very carefully and uh, make sure that there is an adequate uh, public health uh, response. So, as you correctly indicated, um, to date there has regrettably been one uh, patient who passed away uh, from diphtheria. Uh, there are an additional uh, eight inmates who have tested positive. Uh, most of them are uh, asymptomatic, uh, with two inmates experiencing uh, mild uh, symptoms. Uh, working together with correctional services, uh, there has been um, a very active response uh, so that all uh, contacts have been identified, uh, have been treated, uh, have been vaccinated, uh, have been isolated, um, and um, uh, interventions have been put in place in, mm. in that section um, of the prison. Mm. Now, so, talking about uh, it, we are okay. hoping that this will uh, control the outbreak, uh, but mm. obviously we need to monitor very, very uh, carefully. Now, talking about interventions, uh, what specific measures has the Minister of Health taken to contain the spread of this particular, you know, uh, bacteria in the affected areas? And what can you tell us about the targeted vaccination being implemented? Also, are there any concerns about the sh uh, shortage or challenges? and distributing vaccines to areas affected by the outbreak? So uh, currently, um, the, the outbreak uh, is confined to uh, Polsmoor Correctional uh, Facility. Uh, it is uh, confined uh, to one section of the prison, and there are not concerns around, uh, there will be uh, sufficient uh, antibiotics to treat uh, contacts. Um, and to uh, vaccinate those who, who need to be vaccinated. Mm. More broadly, from a public health perspective, uh, we continue to work very hard to uh, make sure that uh, everyone in South Africa does receive uh, all the recommended doses of the uh, diphtheria vaccine. So uh, children receive uh, four doses uh, at 6, 10, 14 weeks and uh, 6 months, or sorry, 18 months, and then they should receive uh, two booster doses. And we know that uh, particularly uh, the coverage of the booster doses is not optimal. So we have been providing an additional dose in uh, public schools to children uh, around about 9 to 10 years of age. Mm. And so our most uh, important intervention is really to continue to urge uh, caregivers to make sure that their children are uh, fully vaccinated and therefore uh, protected from diphtheria. All right, now let's talk about uh, uh, trends right now or patterns. Are there trends or patterns in the demographics of people affected by uh, this particular outbreak? And uh, are certain age groups or regions more susceptible to the disease? So what we have seen uh, in South Africa uh, is that for many years we would had no cases of uh, diphtheria. Uh, in the past few years, uh, the past decade or so, uh, we have had uh, sporadic cases. 
uh, in 2015, there were, uh, I think it was 12 cases in uh, KwaZulu-Natal. And in the past year, we had seen two cases, one in uh, KwaZulu-Natal and uh, one in the Western Cape. So the number of cases really is uh, quite small, um, but it is of concern that there are these uh, sporadic cases. Uh, and that is why uh, we really need to focus on uh, improving our, our vaccination uh, coverage. Uh, we have seen cases um, in children. We have also seen, uh, occasionally seen cases uh, in adults. Uh, the cases in the current outbreak, the uh, index case and the eight uh, cases, secondary cases, uh, were all in um, young men. Uh, but that really reflects the fact uh, that uh, those were the, the uh, age group that uh, were in contact uh, mm. with the uh, index case. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Leslie. It's a pleasure. Bye-bye.